birds are dying like flies. As in the mortality rate of birds we have right now is so high. And it's not even a disease condition. It's just because of the weather. This is the period that the heat stress is actually haunting the birds. For instance, look at these broilers here. They are 13 days old. On the 13th day, they are still under the brooding condition and they are meant to be subjected to the temperature between 26 degrees to 28 degrees. But let me show you something. This is the current temperature we have right here now. The temperature now is 36.9 degrees centigrade. This temperature is way higher than the temperature this base we are subjected to during brooding on the first day which was 35 degrees for the first five hours before we brought it down to 32 and 33 degrees another way to know that without the therm thermometer is the condition of the base look at them they are all panting so in this video I want to share with you what we do over here in our farm to counter this heat stress, this period. Probably you might learn one or two things you can apply in your farm and reduce those mortality and the video is starting right now. I want to use the next 30 seconds to advertise a service we render over here from the farm. It's called a canvas printing split panels we have that of three in one we have that of five in one it is good for your interior decoration those your wall that is just vacant this kind of stuff is what you need and this is what we do over here in farm you know farms are sited in isolated area right so we use it to keep ourselves busy and make money in the process it comes with a working work clock so it can be the work clock you have in your living room and it also serves as your picture framing so I'll be sharing a link in the description of this video if you're interested, you order the service, keep us busy in the farm. So we'll make money and also beautify the walls in your house. Number one and the most important thing to do is to know the conditions that the bed are subjected to. And how to do that is make sure you have a thermometer. You can never know what these beds are passing through if something is not showing you. If you don't have a thermometer this period, you are driving your car blindly and that's very bad number two make sure to improve your ventilation these beds are meant to still be under the brooding condition but check out everywhere is open upon everywhere is open the heat is still much so make sure that there is no part of your poultry that you can control the temperature the ventilation that is still closed open everywhere so that ventilation will be circulating within the penthouse number three this is the, the time that the construction of your poultry house matters the most you know poultry are mainly constructed in a rectangular form the shorter as this is meant to be facing the east and the west direction reason being that the sun rises from the east and then sets in the west this is the east border of our poultry farm this side is the east side so the sun rises from this side and then sets this side early in the morning when the sun is rising you notice the sun will drop sunshine inside inside the penthouse for the fact that it's shining on the shorter axis it can give the best chance to run to the middle or to the other extreme side but if the sun is coming from if the poultry is constructed the orientation of the poultry is constructed in a north and a south direction you see that the sun will be coming in from the larger as is which means no matter where the best run to some will be hitting them and that's so much stress most of them will give up and die another thing you can do is to make sure that you collect if you are the type using a nipple drinker you know or no matter your poultry most poultry they tank overhead tanks are positioned outside see where on is one of the one the one that this particular penthouse is using is just directly under the sun so what you can do for your own farm is to maybe build a shade above the overhead tank or use something like raffia to build something above it to prevent direct sunshine hitting on it but in a situation you don't do that make sure you collect the water the best will drink very early in the morning when the temperature is still low for us over here this black butter we collect water very early in the morning 
We open here very early in the morning, collect enough water that we know that the bears cannot be able to consume, they cannot be able to exhaust before before 9 p.m. in the night, unless the bears are adults that they exhaust it. But in a situation that the bears exhaust the water, that's where you introduce ice block. But make sure that the ice block, the water used for generating that ice block originated from the source of water the bears are drinking so that you will not be confusing them with different water from different sources. I don't know if you get what I mean. Just collect the water from the source the bears are drinking, go and refrigerate it. Then, in the afternoon, because when these bears get older now, this particular bears now, currently they are drinking 110 liters. As of yesterday, when they were 12 days old. So today being the 13th day, they are going to drink more than that. So when they get older, when they get older, that means they will be exhausting the water in this buta because this buta is 120 liters. They will be exhausting it probably in the afternoon and we will have to refill the buta again in the afternoon. Remember, by then, the water from the overhead tank is already hot. It's heated. So bring the water we are going to be bringing here will be warm or hot. And what we will be using to counter it at that particular point in time is the ice block. That means when we empty the water up to 120 liters inside here, will drop ice block inside, allow it to melt, to cool the temperature of the water before we release it to the bears to drink. And also make sure that water is constantly available to them because this period, most of them are not interested to eat. These are broilers. Broilers are known to be eating all the time. But look at them. There is food all over here. These bears are just 13, 13 days old. If this heat persists when these bears get to three weeks old, by this time when the sun, the temperature is high, what we'll do is to remove all the feeders and then leave them for like four to five hours. You know, broilers can stay four to five hours without eating and it will not affect the fat, they've, the weight they've already accumulated. So for now, there are still two weeks. There will be two weeks tomorrow. Today is 13 days. There will be 14 days tomorrow. So for now, we still leave it. Those of them who really want to eat will come out by themselves and eat while the rest will still remain there and panting. Another thing you can do this period is to feed them more in the morning, very early hours of the day, make sure that there is enough feed for them to consume because what you are trying to do is, these bears have a body requirement of feed per day. Each of them have a feed requirement per day. So you want them to meet that feed requirement irrespective of the temperature because right now nobody is eating, but we still want them to meet their daily requirements. So what we we'll do is very early in the morning, we we'll give them enough feed so that they rush the feed, so that this period they are not eating, there is no problem. Then in the evening, we we'll give them feed. In the evening, all of them will just stand up and start eating. That's when the sun has gone down and the temperature has dropped. Now, if you are a farmer who doesn't give your broilers 24 hours light, now is the time you need to start giving them that light in the night, because these broilers, their life cycle is just eat, sleep, play, eat again. You get the point. So right now, they are not eating. Some of them might manage to sleep in this hot condition. Some of them might manage to rest. But majority of them, what they do is when they stay here small, they come out, they drink water to cool themselves down. And after that, they go back to resting. Another thing we do this period is also Every two hours, we come in and spray them fresh water. The essence of spraying them the fresh water is just to wet their body. And then, when they are wet, you know naturally now, heat period, taking cold water, pouring cold water on yourself during the heat period will naturally drop at least the heat for some time. So we do that every two, two hours. We come in and we are careful during the spraying to make sure that the water we are spraying does not enter any of the feeders and the water does not soak the litter on the floor. And then finally, we give them supplements. The supplements we use here is multivitamin, at times vitamin C, that's ascorbic acid for the poultry. It helps to counter stress and it also helps to strengthen their immune system. But they need it the most right now in their water. So that's basically what we do here to counter our own heat stress. How do you counter heat stress in your farm? Feel free to share with us in the comment section of this video. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section. And also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That's it for today, guys.